everyone and welcome back to Harmony Goat Farm where we make soap and lotion. So today we're going to be making a Moonlight Path lotion. I don't have the fragrance bottle near me. Um, but I have been making lotion for about two months now and I finally decided to take the plunge and make goat milk lotion. Now I make goat milk soap bars. Um, my whipped soap does not have goat milk in it. And I decided I'm finally going to do it. I'm going to make goat milk lotion. It's going to happen. Let's go. So I decided to do Moonlight Path because I think it smells absolutely amazing. It's one of my new favorite fragrances. So if anybody asks what's your favorite, it's Moonlight Path. It is so good. I'm not going to make it in a regular soap bar though. Um, so it's just going to be available in whipped soap and lotion. But today we are making goat milk lotion. And then I'm going to test it and see what the differences are between the lotion that I made before without goat milk in it versus the goat milk lotion uh, that I am making today. So without further ado, let's go make some lotion. Okay, here we are in the kitchen. I apologize if you can hear my air conditioner. It was getting really hot in here and I had to turn it back on. So it's probably gonna be on for this entire video. Um, but I already measured everything out, so here we have our distilled water. This is sweet almond oil, avocado oil, stearic acid, and emulsifying wax. Here we have the shea butter, and this is our preservative and our fragrance. So I'm just going to set this aside because we will want not be using that for a while. Oh, and I almost forgot the most important ingredient is our goat milk. So I'm going to be using goat milk powder today. I'm going to mix it into the water. Um, per the instructions on the can to make goat milk. Um, but first we're going to heat this up in the microwave until it's all melted and then we'll add the shea butter to it um, and the heat from that will melt the shea butter. And you don't want to microwave the shea butter because then it can get really like grainy in lotion and you just want to kind of like let it melt naturally and slowly. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and melt these up and we'll be right back. All right, so we microwaved this for a good two minutes. There's still a little bit in there, so I'm just going to mix it up, and that should just kind of melt away, like right away. There's a little bit of steric acid still in there. And now I'm going to plop in our shea butter and let that melt away. That only takes a few minutes, um, and while that is melting, I'm going to go ahead and make our goat milk. So I'm going to set that aside, and on the can here it says to make one cup, mix two unpacked scoops of powdered goat milk with eight ounces of warm water. So this is 18 ounces of distilled water, and the recipe that I found online uh, was half goat milk, half water. So I'm just going to do the two scoops of this, so that would be roughly half, um, would be eight ounces of water. So I'm going to do two scoops, two packed scoops of goat milk into this warm water. So I'm going to have to heat this up. It should only take a minute. So I'm going to go do that real quick and then we'll come back and mix in our goat milk. All right, our water is now warm. And I went ahead and I made two scoops here. I had a little bit, I had two containers, so that's why I have two scoops. So I'm just going to go ahead and plop these in. They want to come out. To the water and then I'm going to whisk it in really good. So now that is all pretty much mixed in really well. It smells like milk. Um, and here is our melted oils. The shea butter has melted all the way now. And I'm just going to take the temperature of these real quick just to kind of see what they are. I'm going to have to heat this up a little bit more because it's a little too cool for this. If I add this in now, it's going to thicken up really fast. So I'm just going to heat this up a little bit more and we'll be right back. Alright. So it is much warmer now and this has cooled off a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and add my water into the oils here. 
and then I'm gonna have to put them back in this white container. I don't know how it is when you add the oils into the water. I have only known putting water into oil. So that's why I'm gonna go put it in here first and then we're gonna go back in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and add these in. Kinda mix a little bit. And I put them back in this white container um, because last time I made lotion, I found out that this blue one is too small and I made a mess everywhere. Alright. So I'm going to go ahead and pour it into here. And then we're going to stick blend it for a little bit so that it gets nice and incorporated. It's not going to get thick like quick process soap does. It's going to still be pretty fluid because it's uh, warm. As it cools off, it gets thicker, so it's going to be liquid for quite some time. should be good. I mean, I only mixed it for like 10 seconds, but it really doesn't need to be mixed that much. And it has to be less than 145 degrees, which right now it's 132. Um, and, and then I can add in the Fino Nip and stuff. But first I'm going to add in my colors. And today we're going to be using the same as the whipped soap. We're using Plumberry Pink and Purple Galaxy mixed together. I'm going to, again, I'm going to do a quarter teaspoon, just like the whipped soaps, and we'll see how it looks and then go from there. Quarter teaspoon of each color, specifically. So now that the color is mixed in there, we are going to go ahead and add our preservative and our fragrance. Uh, they have to be added at a specific temperature, not specific temperature, but lower than a specific temperature because if you add it when it's too hot, the preservative will just like completely burn up and be, it won't even be preservative anymore and you can't, you know, it won't. This could potentially grow like bacteria and stuff. And the same with the fragrance, if you add it when it's too hot, the fragrance will just kind of like go away. Um, so I'm going to mix this in real good. Alright, so now we can go ahead and add them into our jars. rid of some of these bubbles on top here. First I'm going to um, put them into the little squeezy bottle tubes. Um, I took off the caps, but I'm going to do those first and then I will do the jars afterwards. All right. And for the squeezy bottle tubes, I poured it into this little jar and then I use, come, they come with a little funnel and I use the little funnel, kind of helps me get them into the jars and it has to be very liquidy. Otherwise, it won't um, it won't go in very well. So, I'm just gonna kind of fill this up, and if I need to add more later, I will. Where am I doing? Looking for this. All right, I'm gonna get my scale out because I like to weigh these. It's hard to tell like how full they are sometimes. Gotta kind of like force this in a little bit. There we go. And then I like to squeeze the air out and then pour this in as I let it go.
see how much is in there. Okay. Put our cap on. Perfect. All right, and then we'll just let that. These, um, it's liquidy now, but then it'll cool off later and be nice and thick and lotiony. So I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of these squeezy bottles, and then we'll come back when it's time to do the jars. Okay, so we are all done uh, filling up the little tubes. So um, the recipe makes six of these tubes and four of these jars, and sometimes there's a little bit left over. Um, for like samples or something. So now it's time to fill up the jars. So I'm just going to mix this up again a little bit. And then we're going to go ahead and just pour it straight into the jars. And for these I um, pour them while they're on the scale and that way I can measure them a lot easier. So there's a little bit left in here. I'm going to leave that in there because that's going to be my test for when I um, test between the regular um, lotion that I made before and the goat milk lotion. So I have my four jars here. I'm going to let them sit with the lids off because um, they're still warm and they'll uh, produce like moisture and condensation and if I put the lids on then it's going to be stuck in the jar. For these I can't really help with that. Um, because just the way that the um, tubes are, but I haven't had any issues so far with uh, with these. So uh, we will be back once this becomes more solidified. I'll come back and test out the two different kinds of lotions, and we'll see if there's a difference between them. All right, so it's actually been a couple weeks now, and I have been using the goat milk lotion since then, and I have to say that my hands definitely feel softer. It absorbs into the skin much easier. It's not as oily like the other stuff was kind of oily feeling. Um, just a little bit. Like it still works. Still really great lotion. But I think this goat milk lotion is going to be my new go-to. So anything from Moonlight Path onward. So like all my fall and winter lotions are all going to be goat milk lotions. And I'm going to have to redo all the labels. But they're going to say goat milk lotion. Uh, the other ones that I have. For instance this one here says body lotion. So uh, that doesn't have goat milk in it. So thank you all so much for watching. I had a ton of fun like experimenting and trying this out. And this will be added to the website very soon. I think I'm going to add it with the fall collections coming out. Um, there's only a few new things and then some from last year that's going to come out with the fall collection. I think it's going to be October 2nd, uh, which I think is the Friday at 5 p.m. So keep an eye out for that if you want to... Uh, get email notifications. You can subscribe on the website. If you scroll down to the bottom, there's a subscribe box. And uh, then you'll get an email before everybody else. I sent this last one, like, I think 30 minutes before I added everything. So you'll get an email before everyone else that all this new stuff is live. So that's what you get for being a subscriber. So thanks again for watching and have an awesome day.